Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for Easter week from the 29th of March to the 4th of April in my medium passion planner. Let's get started. So the kit that I'm using this week is Happy Easter from Planner Face and it's the same art as my April monthly but just a different colourway. I do PR for Planner Face so you can use my code down in the description to save yourselves a little bit of money and also mention me in the notes to sell it for my brand new freebie. I thought that this week because I've hit the milestone of 500 subscribers that I would do a little get to know me sort of tag so instead of talking through what I'm planning I'm going to be answering some questions. So the first two questions in this tag are where did you grow up and where do you currently live? Uh, I grew up on the south coast of England and I currently live in Bristol so I've pretty much stuck around the west country my whole life. I'm probably going to skip some of these questions because a couple of them are just a bit weird. But the next one I'm going to answer is how tall are you? So I, for most of my adult life, thought I was just under five foot six. Um, I never measured myself, this is just how tall I assumed I was. And then when I started my PT sessions uh, at my gym, I got measured for the first time in, well, since I was a kid. And it turned out that I was actually two inches shorter than I thought I was. And I'm barely scraping five four. The next question is just dogs or cats. Uh, I like all animals, but I really want to get a dog. Um, I spent some time this weekend in my garden trying to sort it out so that we can get rid of our gravel and get some grass in and have somewhere for a dog to play, hopefully in the future. Next is what year were you born? Uh, I am a 90s baby. I was born in 1991. So I do remember a little bit of the 90s, but not too much. The next question is, are you in slash have you gone to college? So yes, quite a while ago now I went to university. Uh, I have an undergrad degree in molecular biology and then a master's degree in forensic genetics. I didn't have the best experience at university just because for most of my first year and some of my second year, uh, that was when I was really ill and finally got diagnosed with ME. So attending lectures online then would have been so so handy for me but i had to drag myself in to go in person but i still managed to get both of my degrees in like the normal frame of time so i was very proud of myself for that considering how ill i was the next question is just what is your favorite drink and i'm not sure if it means just any drink or alcoholic drink so you can have both at the moment I'm really into White Claws because they're quite low in alcohol and I can't really drink that much at the moment so they're a nice kind of easy to drink drink when I just want a, a little something. And then I think my favourite regular drink is, well, I have quite a bad habit of drinking a lot of White Monster so that's the drink that I probably have the most of, which is really bad, <laughs> but I don't drink like tea or coffee or anything so I need to get my caffeine from somewhere. Oh, the next question is, do you prefer tea or coffee? And I just answered that one, so take another one off the list. Next is, what sports do you play or have you played in the past? So when I was a kid, I did a lot of karate um, and like martial arts until I got sick basically. And then I started doing a lot of yoga and some running while I was kind of recovering. And I did a lot of running for a long time. Like I've done a couple 10K races. And then once I joined the gym, I got really into weightlifting and I love weightlifting just because it makes me feel so empowered. And also I think it's hilarious that I look quite small, but can deadlift hundred kilos on a good day. The next question is, have any books you read changed your life? And I don't read a lot of books. I kind of, I really wish that I was one of those people that could like sit down and read a whole book, but I just don't have the attention span for it. But my favorite book series is the Dark Materials Trilogy by Philip Pullman. In the same vein, the next question is, what is your favorite movie? And I would have to say that a movie that I can watch over and over again and have watched over and over again is the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. 12 year old Natalie knew that script from start to finish for a while. Next is who are your favourite YouTubers? So for planner YouTubers, I will always watch things by Kat at Peace Love Plan and Tilly Journals and obviously Anna from Planner Face and then some of the bigger YouTubers like Julie's Plans, always watch her videos and Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans, they're two of my favourites. And then outside of the planner world, I watch a lot of Whitney Simmons for like fitness stuff and I really like 
corridor crew for like movies and like I've learned so much about special effects in movies from watching that channel. And then I also watch a lot of Sims YouTube which will not surprise any of you and so I really like Lil Simsy and Plumbella. Honestly I watch so much YouTube that it's kind of difficult to just pick some of my favourites really. The next question is do you speak any languages and how well and I like to think that I speak passable English um, but I also speak a little bit of German really out of practice though because obviously we haven't been able to leave the country for over a year at this point. The next couple questions are relationship -y, so am I single or taken and how long was my longest relationship? So uh, I don't really like the term taken but okay, I have a boyfriend and we've been together for almost seven years. It will be officially seven years in August. Next is how would you describe your fashion sense? So pretty much all of my clothes are black or grey, I don't wear a lot of colour, the most colourful thing about my sense of style is my hair. But at the moment, because of the pandemic, I pretty much live in gym wear because it's nice and stretchy and comfortable. So apart from going to work, this weekend was the first time that I've actually got dressed properly because we went to see people because lockdown's eased. Next is what is your go-to fast food order? And these questions are in such a random order so they don't always seem to follow one from each other. But my go-to fast food order currently is the vegan pizza from Domino's because I love pizza and I don't eat dairy or any animal products. The next question is just do you use PC or Mac? And I use Mac um, or Apple products, although I'm getting tempted by my boyfriend's gaming PC to maybe build one myself in the future, although it seems like quite an investment just so that The Sims runs better. Next up is what are your morning and evening routines? So I've been trying to work on these a lot recently because my morning routine is currently get up, eat breakfast, get out the door as quickly as possible because I am not very good at waking up, especially because of the medication I'm on for my migraines. Um, and then my evening routine is very much like try and stop using my phone too close to bedtime. Uh, and I also do a meditation on the car map before I go to bed as many nights as I remember. So that was all of the get to know me type questions that I wanted to answer from this list but there's also a whole bunch of other ones that are just really random questions so I'm going to pick and choose some of those as I continue setting up my spread for the week. So the first one of the random questions that I'm going to answer is describe your eye colour. So I have something called central heterochromia so the middle part of my iris is a different colour from the outside part of my iris. The middle part of my iris is uh, hazel and then it goes into green and then blue on the outside. So depending on the like lighting situation in the room that I'm in, my eyes can look slightly different colours. But they mostly look kind of greenish blue. Next is what theme parks have you been to? So I went to Disneyland Paris quite a few times as a child and I really wanted to go for my 30th birthday this year but I don't think that's going to happen. As soon as we can start travelling again, that is one of the first places that I want to go to. I have also been to Alton Towers and I'm going to count Legoland as a theme park. I'm pretty sure it is a theme park. Next is what is your favourite ice cream flavour and it has to be mint choc chip. Although anything sort of chocolatey is definitely my jam when it comes to desserts. Next is what was your dream job as a kid? So I don't really remember what my dream job was when I was a child but when I was in like secondary school sixth form I really wanted to go into forensic genetics and that's why I did the degrees that I did um, and then I worked in a forensic DNA analysis lab for about two and a half years and I was really bored. It wasn't as interesting as I expected it to be and that's why I made the move back over to medical molecular biology instead. I was quite lucky in that my degrees had already given me a bit of medical molecular biology knowledge but you can always change what you want to do. Nothing's ever set in stone. 
The next question is about concerts and festivals and which ones were the most memorable. So I've only been to one proper music festival with like camping and stuff and that was Nova Rocks in Austria in like, I wanna say 2016, but I might be wrong. But that was amazing. It was such good fun. Um, but I also hate camping, so I don't wanna ever go to a music festival again. When it comes to concerts, I've been to quite a few. Uh, the most recent one that I went to, obviously pre-lockdown, was Steel Panther. Uh, and then last year I was supposed to go and see My Chemical Romance on their like comeback date in the UK and it got pushed back and I think it's gonna get pushed back again but one day I will see them again. I really love going to see live music so it's definitely something that I've missed during lockdown. So I think that's pretty much it for the questions in this little planner tag. Um, I will have the questions that I use linked down below but I basically just googled um, get to know me tag questions and it was one of the first things that came up. But the spread is pretty much coming together, I'm just filling in some of my to-do lists in the bottom left hand corner and overall this week was a really good week. Like I had some really great news, I had some really rubbish news but it's all kind of evened out to a solid good week. Also, this week was one of the first times that we've got to see some of our friends now that lockdown has eased a bit. So I saw a couple of friends on Friday and then also caught up with my friend Kel's new planner uh, on Saturday and we just had some Prosecco in the garden and it was lush because thankfully the weather has been decent, although a little chilly, but decent this weekend. So now that we've seen a few friends, I can start counting down the days until I can go back to the gym because that is the next milestone of lockdown easing for me. So that's all my pre-planning done for this week. I hope you enjoyed listening to my answers to some of these questions. Let's take a look at the finished spread. So here's the finished spread and I love how this one turned out as always. Uh, I really enjoyed using this Easter art. I haven't really decorated for Easter with my planner much before, but this is just gorgeous. And yes, I put a photo of my new mini dishwasher in my planner. I was so excited about that arriving. I hope you all had a lovely long weekend for the Easter bank holiday. So that's everything for this week friends, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time, bye!